Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com. Today I'm going to be presenting part one of my four part Google Drive and Google Docs tutorial for 2013. My Google Docs tutorials have been some of my most popular over the past two years, so I really want to try and cover every single aspect of Google Drive and Google Docs for you this year. So this tutorial, this video is going to be the introductory overview tutorial of Google Drive. I'm going to talk about its functionality, what you can do with it, what the main purpose of Google Drive is, and then throughout the next week I'm going to produce, be producing part two, which is how to create Google Docs documents inside of Google Drive. Part three is going to go over sharing both with other Google Docs users and with people who don't use Google Docs. And then part four of this video series is going to be file organization and management in Google Docs. So those are all going to be coming out within the next week. This is the introductory tutorial, so I hope it helps and enjoy it. Okay, so uh, Google Drive is available with any Gmail account or Google account. So if you need to create a Google account, just go ahead and go to gmail.com and create a new account. Once you have a Gmail account or Google account, you'll notice that at the top you have this black bar with a whole bunch of links to all the different Google services, and one of them is called Drive. So that's how you can access Google Drive. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that link, and you'll notice that it brings me to drive.google.com, so you could also just go to drive.google.com and it would take you to the same place. Now you can see I don't have anything in my Google Drive right now. This is a test account that I use. Um, and in part four of this video series, I'm going to go over file organization and management. Uh, but just to let you know where I'm going to be working from throughout this video series, I'm going to be working from the activity section. And I'm going to explain really in depth why I'm doing that in part four of this video series. Uh, but just be aware that this is the section I'm working for. If you can't see this section in your Google Drive, you might have this little more drop down. And if you click the little arrow next to it, the activity, offline docs, all items, trash, all of those sections will drop down. By default, you're probably in the My Drive section. And you probably see something that looks like this. I'm not going to talk about the desktop version of Google Drive in this video. That will be a whole separate video um, probably not even part of this four-part series because it, it's just a whole different idea. Okay, and, and it, to be honest, the desktop version of Google Drive doesn't really work that well. I use Google Docs and Google Drive for everything I do. The desktop version I don't use because I do all of my word processing, all of my document collaboration in the cloud. I don't need a local copy. I don't need a copy of a file on my actual computer. But I'll talk a little bit more about that in the file organization section of this video series. In this video, I just want to kind of introduce you to Google Drive and I want to talk about what it is. So what is Google Drive? It was originally called Google Docs and about a year ago Google started calling it Google Drive and the reason for that is is because when you say Google Docs or you hear Google Docs you think about document creation, document collaboration, word processing like Microsoft Office and although that is probably the main feature of Google Drive and that's going to be covered uh, in the second part of this video series that's not the only thing that Google Drive does. Google Drive serves as a cloud storage service for any document, any file you want. So, very similar to Dropbox. Now, what's the big difference between Dropbox and Google Drive? It's space. Dropbox allows you to start off with two gigabytes of free space. Google Drive gives you five gigabytes of free space. And then you have all the other cool features like being able to create and share documents and stuff within Google Drive. So if you're using Dropbox right now, I would really recommend switching over to Google Drive. You're going to have everything that you had with Dropbox, but you will also have a whole bunch of additional features. So in this video, since it's an introduction, all I really want to show you is how to upload some files into your Google Drive. And I want to make it clear that you can store just about any type of file in Google Drive. A lot of people think that you can only create Google Docs and upload Microsoft Office files, Excel files, Word files, PowerPoint, that kind of stuff. You can store PDFs, you can store music files, you can store movie files, you can store image files, you can store any pretty much any type of file you want in Google Drive. It does not have to be a Google Doc or a Microsoft Office file. So I'm going to show that to you today. I'm going to upload a Microsoft Word file because that is a big part of Google Drive even though that's not the only type of document you can 
upload into Google Drive. So I am going to upload a Microsoft Word file. I'm going to upload an image file. I think it's a JPEG. And I'm also going to upload a short video. Uh, I'm actually going to upload the introduction video that you saw earlier in this video here um, that I use for AntsonAlex.com, my YouTube channel. But I just want to show you that you can upload different types of documents. So in Google Drive, again, I'm in the My Drive section right now, but I want to work from the Activity section. That's the section I always work from in Google Drive. If you used the old version of Google Docs, this was formerly called Home. And that was where you automatically started by default when you opened up Google Drive. Now, a lot of times, you'll start in the My Drive section, and I actually manually go to this activity section, which, like I said, used to be called Home. But let's say I want to upload a document. Well, you can see that up here at the top left, we have this big red Create button, and in the next video in this series, we're really going to use this button a lot. If I click on it real quick now, just as a kind of a preview, you can see I've got a number of different types of documents I can create right in Google Drive. But we're not going to do that in this video. I just want to upload some documents or files that I already have on my computer. So instead of hitting this Create button, I'm going to click the button next to it, which as you can see when I mouse over it, is the Upload button. So when I click on that, first of all, I want you to notice this is where you can see how much storage you have and how much you have used in Google Drive. So you can see I've used zero megabytes of my five gigabytes of space. Okay, and you can also see from this drop down that I have the option to upload either a file or multiple files, or I could upload an entire folder. So say you have a folder with 30 images in it and you want them all in Google Drive, you could just click on folder and you could upload that entire folder. And it will actually, the folder in Google Drive will be the same name as, a, as the folder was on your actual computer. But I want to just upload uh, three different files. I'm going to do them individually for this tutorial. However, I could upload them all at once. So if I click on files here, I'll show you what I mean. On my desktop, I have this MP4 file, Anson Alex intro, the Anson Alex logo JPEG, and then a Call of Duty dot doc. That's a review I wrote on Call of Duty a few years ago. So I'm going to up upload all three of them. Now I'm going to upload them one at a time, but I could click on one, then use my Apple key or control key on a Windows, click on another one and I could click on all three and I could upload all three at once, but I'm not going to do that. So let's start off with our Microsoft Word document because this is going to be one where we actually have a few options of how we want to upload this document. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit open. And actually I'm going to make a quick change to my settings here um, because mine acts a little bit different than yours does because I've previously changed this setting. So I'm actually going to remove this and I'm going to redo this because I want to show you a pop-up that you're going to get when you upload a Word document. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to upload my Call of Duty doc, and you'll notice that I get this pop-up. Pop and the reason this didn't come up before is because I had unchecked this box that said confirm settings before each upload, but I want to confirm my settings. and It's a good idea to always have this box pop up. And you'll notice that there's really two options here. And what it's asking is in the first option, the first check checkbox is asking, do you want to convert documents, presentations, spreadsheets, and drawings to Google Docs format? Okay, and that might be a little confusing for new Google Docs users, so let me kind of explain that a little bit. Because Google Drive is a service where you can upload any type of document, but you can also compose, can compose Google Docs documents, you have an option when uploading Microsoft Office documents. You can either upload a Microsoft Office document and keep it in the exact same format, either a .doc or a .xls or a .ppt, keep that in the same format as it was created in. You can upload it to Google Drive, you can download it someplace else, you can preview it, but because you're not converting it to this Google Docs format, you will not be able to edit that file. So actually, let's go ahead and upload this Call of Duty .doc file twice. The first time, I'm not going to hit this checkbox. I'm going to keep it in the Word format, which is really what we did the first time before I made this setting appear again. And uh, then we'll upload it again, and we will convert it, and we'll be able to see the difference. This second box is asking if you want to convert text from PDF and image files to Google Docs format. I would highly recommend against that. There can be some um, converting issues that come up when doing that. And generally speaking, if you have a PDF, you want to keep it as a PDF format. So I would never hit this checkbox. If you do want to convert your Microsoft Office file though, I would hit this checkbox and I do that nine times out of 10. Most times when I upload a Word file or an Excel file into Google Docs, I want to be able to edit in Google Docs, so I'll hit this checkbox. So we're gonna do that in a second, but for this first time, let's just leave it blank. 
and I'm going to hit start upload. It's going to do the same thing it just did before. So you can see I've got this Call of Duty doc. I can tell the format not by the extension because you'll see in a second when I convert this document it will still be called .doc because Google just uploads that as part of the name. But I can tell the format based on the icon to the left of it. So here's my document. If I click right on it to open it up, you notice it opens up in a new tab. So I still have access to my activity section. And I have this Call of Duty document. I can read everything inside of the document, but I cannot make any changes. I can't type in this document. I can't do anything. Okay, so this is still in Word format. I'm just going to close this tab. And now let's go ahead and let's upload the same document, Call of Duty.doc, but this time I'm going to hit this convert button, this convert checkbox. I'm going to hit start upload. You'll notice it's uploading again. This time it says it's converted. And you'll notice the name is exactly the same in my activity section, but my symbol is different. And if I click on this create drop down, you'll notice that the symbol of this document corresponds with this type of Google Doc document, just your normal word processing document. So now if I click to open this item up, you'll notice it's going to appear a little bit differently than before. All the formatting within the document is the same, but I'm actually in Google Docs word processing suite. And I'm going to go into full detail about this in the next video in this series about how to edit documents, how to create documents. But just from an uploading standpoint, you can see that I can now edit this document, okay, because we've converted it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to close this tab now. So we've uploaded a Microsoft Word document without converting it and a Microsoft Word document with converting it. Now let's quickly talk about uploading an image in a video. So I'm just going to go back to upload. I'm going to choose files. You'll notice now I can choose my JPEG image. So there's my AntsonAlex.com logo. I hit open. It's going to ask me if I want to convert. Um, this first one doesn't matter for this file because it's an image. The second one would ask if we want to convert text from our image files, and we don't. Don't check that checkbox. It's really going to cause some funky things to happen. And so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Start Upload. You'll see again it appears on my upload screen. Now I have this logo uploaded to Google Drive. I can click on it. Again, it opens up in a new tab, and there is my image. If I wanted to, I could... Um, you know, save this image as, I could save it to my desktop or do whatever I want. But I can go anywhere in the world now, log into my Google account and have access to my JPEG image because it's in my Google Drive account. So the last file I want to upload in this video is my video file. I'm going to go to files. I'm going to choose my MP4. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Again, this conversion does not matter for this file because it's a video. This is talking about PDF and Microsoft Office documents, so it doesn't matter what I choose hit start upload. This one is going to take considerably longer because it's a video and it's also going to take up more space in my Google Drive so you definitely want to be careful about that. You can upload music files. You can upload your every music file you own but for the free version of Google Drive you've only got five gigabytes of space so you definitely want to be aware of that when uploading files. As you can see I'm 38 percent, 39 percent. I'm not sure how big this file is um, it's not huge. I want to say it's maybe 10 megabytes or, or something like that, but you know, we're already almost halfway done. Um, so while that's uploading, just touch on a couple quick things here. You'll notice that we are in the activity section. I said I'm going to work from this section the whole time. But you notice that my documents are just piling up here. Well, right now they're sorted in order by last modified, which works really well. And in the fourth part of this video series when I talk about file organization in Google Docs, I'll explain that in more detail why that works well and how you can change that and view it in a few different ways. Um, but I just want to show you right now, since we're seeing documents appear in the screen, they are, are sorted by last modified. So you can see my video is now uploaded. It's listed in my activity section. If I click on it to open it up, it's going to say that there is no preview, but I can download this video. So I could access this video anywhere in the world. You actually can't watch a video in Google Docs, but it's a place to store it, just like in Dropbox. If you upload a video to Dropbox, you're not going to be able to watch it within Dropbox, but you'll be able to download it and view it with a video viewing program, probably VLC Player, Windows Media Player, QuickTime, iTunes, whatever you prefer. Uh, but this is the basic idea of Google Drive, and I really think it's important because a lot of people think of Google Docs and Google Drive as only a place to create documents and share documents, but it's not. It's a file storage utility. It's a cloud-based file storage service. So I can store any type of file in my Google Drive. I could now completely quit out of my computer. I could shut it down. I could lose power, go to an internet cafe, 
in Argentina have access to all these files. I could go to my friend's house without having to bring my computer and I could just open up my Google account and show them all of my different documents. Um, so it's very, very useful in terms of file storage. Again, part two of this video series is going to go over composing Google Documents, actually creating documents within Google Drive. Part three is going to go over sharing documents within Google Drive. And then part four is going to go over file organization and management. So I hope it helps. That's all I have for you for right now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.